we're going to go on a prayer drive today. And we pray that the Holy Spirit will lead us in our time of prayer. So first off, I'm thinking about women and men who have children together, but yet they themselves are not together. We're going to pray that that relationship does not negatively impact the children. You know, the Bible says that when a man's ways please the Lord, that he'll make even his enemies to be at peace with him. So we're going to pray today for those relationships to be restored and that you all will experience peace in the relationship, even though you may not have been able to get along as husband and wife or make it as a couple, but we can pray that there will be peace between you two so that the children would have a peaceful habitation regardless of which parent that they are with and that one parent doesn't badmouth the other. So we thank you today, Father God, for your word. You said that when our ways please you, Father God, that you would make even our enemies to be at peace with us. So, Father God, it is our desire to please you. So right now, Father, will you reveal to us anything in our way, anything that's in our actions or our words, any kind of behavior that we're doing that is not pleasing you. Reveal that to us, Father. Reveal that to your people today so that we would know what to turn away from, what to allow you to take control of so that our ways would please you and you in turn would cause the relationships even between us and our enemies to be at peace. We know that your promises are yes and amen, but there's always a qualifier. Help us to meet the qualifications to experience the peace with our enemies. That our relationship would please you and you would do your part. So we're praying today between about relationships between our mothers and fathers, that they would get along for the sake of doing what's right and pleasing in your sight and that the children will experience the peace. We thank you, Father God, and bind the spirit of division, fault finding, criticism. For your word says that love thinketh no evil. So I pray today that their love walk will be improved upon that they'll be able to cast down negative thoughts that the enemy is throwing their way. Negative thoughts about one another. For you love us, Lord God. So help us to allow your love to flow through us to others. We yield. We yield right now, Lord. We yield to you. We yield to your way, your way of thinking. Not love the way the world loves, which is conditional, but we yield to your, your love, your the God kind of love. Hmm. And Father, I pray that there, if there are any dads that are listening, any dads that are out there that have not taken care of their children, not taken care of their responsibilities. I pray right now, Lord God, that you would prick their hearts, prick their hearts, Lord God, that they will be turned toward taking care of their offspring. For your word says that if a man does not take care of his own children, his own household, he is worse than an unbeliever. He's worse than an infidel. So, Father God, I pray that you will prick their hearts, their minds. Help them to reflect on 
what life would be like for them if their parent weren't there. And there may be some of you whose parents were not there for you. And you can remember if you think back, how did that make you feel? I take authority over that. Wanting to continue from generation to generation. We draw the line, the bloodline, and we said, today it stops. I'm going to call my children. I'm going to call them and let them know that I love them. I'm going to call and ask for their forgiveness. I'm going to ask their mother to forgive me for not being there. Delinquents. And the children had no part in it. No fault of their own. But caught between the two. Between the two. I'm praying for peace between rest relationships. Rest relationships are restored today in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father God, for restoring relationships. Restoring them that the children will even experience benefits from their relationships being restored. I pray for forgiveness. That the children will forgive the parents. Forgiveness. The spirit of forgiveness is resting on children right now. And they're excited for their fathers to be in their lives. I pray that they would, that bond would be um, re reunited, strengthened by your power. That the spirit of might would strengthen the relationship. Father God, we thank you for supernaturally restoring relationships right now in the name of Jesus. And you're so awesome, Father God, that you're able to mend broken hearts and no one can ever look at it and tell that it was ever broken. Father, we thank you. We thank you today for what you're doing in relationships. Woo! Glory to God. As I'm passing past these houses, I'm praying today for every household. I'm praying today that the relationships are restored in every household. Woo! Phone calls are being made right now in the name of Jesus in these households. That these men are returning and having these mothers raise these children in the name of Jesus. I take authority over the divisive spirit that has come to destroy relationships, to divide husbands and wives, mothers and fathers and children with their parents in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father God, for giving me a desire to pray for these families in the name of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus over these families. They will not be destroyed. Father God, for marriages, I plead the blood of Jesus over them. Your word says that whatever you have joined together, let no man put asunder. So I agree with your word and I pray that there are others who are agreeing with me with your word, Lord God. And you said that if two of us shall touch and agree on anything that we shall ask it shall be done for us by you our father in heaven I'm thanking you right now for restoration Woo! glory to God Woo! glory to God healing broken hearts right now it's taking place right now in the name of Jesus as we're traveling along the road I thank you, Father God, that these marriages are restored. They don't even know what happened. Somebody pray today. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord God. Lift your voice and thank God. Hallelujah. We thank you, Father God. Thank you, Father God. Thank you for restoring relationships. Thank you for mending marriages. Thank you for bringing the children and dads and mothers back into their lives, Lord God, and healing them such that it looks like it was never broken. Woo! Glory be to God. I am super excited about what God is doing in relationships right now. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Amen, amen, and thank you, Father God. Hallelujah.